I wonder how Mario is doing. Do you think he found a way to beat that tub of blubber? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, oh, well, no use wondering. Why don't we go out and try to eavesdrop again? Mario managed to beat Tubba Blubba by now. Bowser and his followers would be really, really mad. Don't you think? You may be right, Twink. There's no use just sitting around worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. Alright, cool. So, hey guys, this is Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. And in this case, it's Paper Peach for the third freaking time. In the last part, we fought Tubba Blubba's weak point, or his secret uh, to... Uh, his invincibility and we fought him himself and now we've saved the star spirit scholar and such and let me touch the button touch the button god damn it and now we're gonna be figuring out what to do next it can't be no 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 explain that again slowly your wretchedness I keep trying to tell you double blubber was defeated by Mario well that's strange because you told me he was invincible how can you beat someone who's invincible? I don't know, man. You tell me. Ugh, stupid Mario. Guess maybe he found out the secret that made Tubba Blubba not quite so invincible. Then he beat him. Ah, I despise Mario. Really? Your filthiness. We have to come up with another tactic, and quickly. Mario was no like, most likely got a Shy Guy's toy box next. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. It won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah! Kamikubo, you've got to find out what Mario hates and... Jackass, seriously? Huh? Ah! For the love of... Why? Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? No, wait, hang on. This is actually good timing, my mischievous princess. We're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend Mario. <laughs> So, Princess Peach, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen, you must be honest. Which one of these things does Mario hate the most? Uh... Well, I'm just gonna spoil it for you guys right now. What a The choice you make right now, it affects uh, something in the next area we're gonna be going to. And if you want to be a complete pussy, you could choose the stuff that actually helps Mario. But screw it, I love a challenge. He hates clubbers. Hmm, I see. Excellent. Is there another thing that fills him with dread? Fuzzy? Hammer Brothers? Thunder Rage? You know what, just for this point, Thunder Rage, yeah. <laughs> good, good. What about these things? Which of these does he hate? Uh, Koopa Troll. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thanks, Princess. <laughs> be sure Mario can avoid these things. Be sure Mario can avoid these things that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that, Kami Koopa? Get going immediately. I'm not sure we can entirely trust what the princess tells us about Mario's weak points, but I'll do as you say. Of course you will. My tactics are brilliant. They're pure art. All right. So, Kami Koopa, have Princess Peach taken back to her room immediately. Finally, we'll witness the end of Mario at last. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Guards, attention! Take Princess Peach back to her room at once, dude. She told you. He told you to do it. You lazy bitch. I don't know. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And yes, yes, I chose the hard ones for on purpose. No, not again! Except for the second one. That one actually helps. Because I definitely need that item. <laughs> and back to the main story. Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. Now that I'm free, I can help you. Ha! And time for the most, one of the more useful star spirit powers of this game. And now we have our star energy up to three, and we can now use Star Storm, a new star spirit power. With the Star Storm, you can attack all enemies. Trust me, that's very useful if you need good damage out at once. Mario, I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely, it's the Star Rod that's given him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing it or not, but there's no question that it's making him stronger than before. We will have to be much more careful in the coming trials. Uh, I'm sorry to leave, but I must go back to Star Haven. The other Star Spirits are waiting for me there. Oh, and if you could, please keep it a secret that I got lost in Forever Forest. Thanks, Mario. Bye! Alright, later, you awesome piece of crap. Your Star Spirit power? I love it! Alright, so now we're moving on with the story. Nice, nice story. Alright, so what do we do from here? Well, we shall figure it out eventually.
Alright, check this shit out. And... Alright, do I need to heal? Nah, I don't. Good. Thankfully, I do not need to heal. Alright, so... Actually, I'm gonna save real quick, just to save me the hassle later on, in case I do die in the future. Alright. So, I wonder if I should buy some more stuff, too. Probably not. I think I'm good with what I got. Especially with that mystery. I want to try using that in any of like, the next fight we come across. If we come across another fight. Alright. Let's make our way back to Toad Town, then. No! Ah, oh, bugs, get them off me! I'm lost in a freaky forest! So scared! What? The hell? Yeah! Oh, Mario! Oh, thank- uh, I mean- Aha! Boy, are you unlucky to run to me again! Who's this kid? What a dirty little urchin. He must be lost. Hey, shut up! Shut up! I'm not a lost child! I'm your worst nightmare! Here comes the pain! Oh my god! Alright, so, the third fight with the Junior Troopa. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. Check this out! More power! And this time he gains wings. Crap, so we can't use hammer on him. Aha, yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Koopa. Dude, you just fucked up your own name. You're really screwed here then. <laughs> Alright, so, I might show off Starstorm right now, but I'm gonna get Gumbario's info on this motherfucker right now. So either way, I don't know, I highly doubt uh, Bo can actually do damage to this guy, if I remember correctly. It's Junior Troopa. I can't get enough of this guy. <laughs> the little guy get lost in the big bad forest. HP 40, attack 5, defense 1. So yep, Bo is completely useless against this guy. Apparently he's grown wings so he can fly now. You'll have to jump to reach him. He's a bit stronger so it may be worth it to use any items you have to attack him. Alright. Thank you for the hint, Gumbario. And yep, he does 5 damage each hit. So yet, yeah, if you don't, if you're not well prepared, you're kind of fucked here. And you know what? D down, jump. Ah, screw it. Power bounce. He only has one defense point anyway. There we go. All right, good. That's all right. And let's charge up Gumbario. Get him some good damage in. All right. And please block it. Thank you for the love of crap. <laughs> All right, another power round should be good enough for now. All right, slightly better than the last one. And now let's head bonk his ass. Look at that, six damage, just as much as good as Mario's power bounce right now. All right, so, uh, gonna keep using the power bounce a little more. Gotta love the variety in these fights. Seriously. <laughs> Alright, and I charge him one more time. Seriously, I like using Gumbario's charge. As weird as it is for me to say to like anything about Gumbario. He's like the Carol of this game, only a lot more useful. Ah, see what I did there. Crap. Alright. I think this might actually work in my favor if I get enough of his health dump. Damn it, not enough. I needed one more health. There, one more attack to do. Uh, I'm going to switch over to Gumbario, and I'm going to do regular Hegg Bomb. Alright, good. Now he has just enough for me to show off Star Storm. As you can see right here, attack enemy with Star Storm, and it has 7 attack power. So, let's finish him off with it. I love this so much. Take it hard, you bastard! Ha! <laughs> he never gets tiring. Alright. Very nice. No, oh, darn it, darn it, darn it! Well, that was nice. <laughs> I better heal the fuck up right now. Maybe. Uh, you know what? Hopefully, I made my way back. Yep, I think I did not. Uh, maybe if I, because you could just get yourself lost in the forest, and you don't have to worry about uh, not uh. Getting through the whole thing just to get back to Toad Town. You just gotta get yourself lost in it, and it'll take you back straight to the entrance. And the sign's right there. Alright, just walk back. Alright. Oh, I made it out of the forest. I can kiss this ground. Yahoo! Alright, cool. Glad you made it out of there, you bastard. God damn it, I wish you'd die. Alright, so. Alright, made it through that very swimmingly. And Bo, get the fuck out of here. 
Anyway, someone actually posted a comment on one of my videos saying that I missed a super block back in the Cooper Brothers Fortress, which I'm probably gonna be going back to right now. Mario, behind you! Ah! Ghost! You are a pussy, man! You know what? Screw it. I got a letter for you. I know what this letter has already. Shy guys have been raising a ruckus all over town. Compared to ghosts, shy guys are nothing. You're feisty, the guard of the forest, correct? Name Terry Carey, letters, and here you go, you bastard. <laughs> oh, I love this part right here. I wonder who Bootler is. Uh, oh no, no! This is from that ghost. It says I'll creep on you. When, I'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Boo! Oh, he loves scaring me. You think he'll really creeping darkness? Oh, oh it's me! I'll never sleep. Get a hold of yourself, feisty. Stand tall. Fear not. You'll be okay. Here, take this. All right, good. You are seriously... You gotta consider your... Reconsider your uh, career options. Oh, oh no! My favorite frying pan! What the hell? The hell was that? <laughs> Alright. What the hell's going on here? Oh, hello there, huh? Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dear old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. Yeah, I see what she did there. <laughs> Alright. So I think I'm going to make my way back to the Cooper Brothers Fortress before anything else. And I'm going to try getting that super block if it is actually there. Hey you! You little scamp! Get your hands off! Give me back my calculator! What the hell's with these shy guys? What the hell? Uh, okay. Uh, what up buddies? Sorry bud, I had to close up shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need the I need that thing to calculate sales bud. I'm not a genius. When I find that little punk, you're going to beat his ass. Beat it hard! Uh, what the hell's Merlin doing out here? The fuck, Merlin? Uh, what do you got? Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortunate timing. Hmm? The town seems to be pretty active today, but it's none of my concern. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the distant desert town, dry, dry outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all to me. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy I can't sleep at night. To find out what it means, please tell me. Huh, so we gotta go to the Dry Dry Outpost. I'll do that once I make my way to, through the Cooper Brothers Fortress, because I'm pretty sure if there is a super lock there, I'll cut to when I get to it. I'll be right back. Alright, whoever told me that is a lying son of a bitch. Alright, so here we are at the Dry Dry Outpost, and here's a red palm tree. And it's just like Merlin told us, so let's walk around it then. Let's see what this gets us into. Maybe we'll get gold. Maybe we'll get rich. I don't know. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy! Dizzy? <laughs> what? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said there's a house with a whirling roof and a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. <laughs> house with a whirling roof. As if that existed. <laughs> I don't take dreams seriously. You are a jackass. Alright, so, I guess the only house that's actually like that is Merlin's, so let's make our way back over there. Oh my god. I wasted more time than I needed to looking for a freaking super block in there. And here we can use the super boots to actually uh, make our way further into there, but I'll save that for another occasion. Because now, I got something on my mind and it involves spin jumping inside a house for no fucking reason. And here we go. I'm gonna speed up the process a slight bit. I don't even know why I don't use the spin dash. Seriously, it's pretty useful. Though I kinda suck at controlling with it. Alright, so, what do you got? Oh wait, don't talk to him. Just spin jump three times in the house. There we go, two, and take that, you bastard. The hell? Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such useful, useful badge was in my attic. Tomorrow, you are a very lucky man. You're goddamn right. You should put that badge on. Alright, so this is a very useful badge. The quick change. Changes your party member and attacks with it on that turn. So yep, you no longer waste any turns switching back and forth between party members. You can just keep switching as many times as you want, and you don't have to worry about crap. But I think it costs like 4 BP though, if I remember correctly. Yep, 4 BP and holy crap, man. Um, screw the D down attacks. I don't think we're going to be needing them anytime soon. Quick change, thank you. Woo! Alright, so I'm actually going to rest up really quick. I'm probably going to be cutting it here. 
If it's too short, I apologize, guys. So, next time... Oh, what the fuck, man. Get out of here! Get, get, get out of here! Damn right. Alright. <laughs> now that the shy guys are gone, you can stay here. I'd like to take a nap. Alright. So, I'm actually going to be cutting it here. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we're going to be figuring out what the hell is going on with these shy guys. So, see you guys then.